Only a few weeks ago, we were watching the last relics of the old wooden wall HMS Implacable being stripped from the hull for removal to honoured safety. Her figurehead, representing the Gorgon Medusa, was being lowered and driven away to the National Maritime Museum at Greenwich, where it is to be preserved along with her poop deck and stern cabin. On Friday, the last sad chapter was written, when from Portsmouth Dockyard, the Hulk was towed out for Scutley. Passing the King George V and her own namesake, the aircraft carrier Implacable, she went slowly on her way towards deep water off the Isle of Wight. The frigate Foudroyant, 50 years her junior, saluted her as she passed. From a motor torpedo boat of the Royal Navy, charges of explosive already in position in the hulk were to be fired to sink her. sailors who had served their apprenticeship in her when she was a training ship stood at attention as slowly she began to settle. But even now, with her bottom blown out and her back broken, she refused to die. Two and a half hours after the explosion, the deck was still above water. The white ensign and the French tricolour still flew defiantly from her stern. Then, as the December night came down, the last fragments of wreckage began to disperse, to sink, or to drift away piecemeal over the waters. Thus ended the French ship of war, Duguay Truin, captured at the Battle of Trafalgar, thenceforward a unit in the British Navy, the oldest of the wooden walls of England.